and welcome to the Daily Digestion Channel. Um, this video is going to be for a, by request. A couple of people, uh, several people have wanted me to make a video on exactly how I take my supplements uh, for my iodine. Um, and so I'm just going to share with you some simple information that should help you out a little bit because it is a little overwhelming when you start to take the iodine. But the, the main things that you need to remember is take your supplements two, week, two weeks prior to starting your iodine. So you wanna make sure you're taking your selenium, your um, vitamin C, and your magnesium two weeks prior or more to before you start your iodine. Okay, and then uh, the next thing you want to make sure is make sure you uh, are drinking plenty of water. That is so important. Make sure you're taking a lot of water, and uh, if you're not sure how much water you need to take, uh, take your weight, divide it by two, and that's how many ounces of water that you need to drink uh, every day. So uh, make sure you're drinking your water every single day. Now, the reason you take the salt is to make sure that you're getting plenty of electrolytes. Uh, drinks like uh, Gatorade and so forth, they have sodium in them uh, to rehydrate your body to get the electrolytes because the sodium potassium pump in your cells needs sodium and potassium in order to work correctly. So you want to make sure that you are taking your salt. So you can do anything from a fourth to a t half of a teaspoon in about eight ounces of water any time throughout the day is fine. Um, I like to take mine in the morning. That's just when I like to take mine. Just as like I like to take my iodine in the morning. Um, first thing in the morning, that's when I like to take my iodine. And I take it along with um, my um, boron. I take it together with my boron and uh, I'm going to make a boron video pretty soon. I've been meaning to do that, but don't worry about the boron right now. Just worry about the iodine. Um, there are two different types of iodine that you can take um, that I know of. There's several. There's probably hundreds, but these are the reputable brands that I highly recommend that are in Brownstein's book. Uh, the Adderall. You can take this if you don't want to deal with drops, um, or you can take the J. Crows. This is a little bit cheaper, that's why I take it. My husband likes this because he works all the time and he doesn't have time to fool around with um, taking things like drops and so forth. Um, so, you want to start out slow in taking the iodine. Um, so just remember that. Start with about 30 milligrams is what I recommend. If you're taking the 2%, uh, 30 milligrams is 12 drops. And then when you want to increase uh, 30 more milligrams to make 60 milligrams, that would be 12 more drops. So just remember, every 30 milligrams you increase is 12 drops. For the 2%, that's the 2%. The 5% is different. If you want to look at my um, iodine chart, I have a video for that, and I'll put the uh, I'll put the playlist down in the description box. Okay, so before you start your iodine, you want to take magnesium every night before you go to bed. Magnesium is amazing. It is responsible for 300 plus processes within the body that we know of. It is critical. Once I started taking magnesium, my life became a whole different life, okay? It's like one of those things, like, it just is amazing, and you need to take it along with the iodine. Every single night, you need to take, make sure you are getting 400 milligrams of magnesium. I take mine at night, before I go to bed, I mix it in a little bit of water. That's how I do my vitamin C as well. That vitamin C is another plus of what you need to do. This is the magnesium I use. It's called um, Albion Dimagnesium Malate Powder. You cannot see it, but it's rubbed off. 
It's by Prescription uh, for Life. This is a great uh, supplement. It's very inexpensive. Uh, I love the absorption on this. This is my favorite magnesium by far. I've had it for a very long time. I take it every single night and I'm still uh, not out of it yet. I've got quite a bit, probably enough in there to last me for another two or three weeks. And guys, this stuff is not very expensive. It lasts forever, literally. You can see where I've worn it out by folding it up. Um, it's been in my cabinet forever. Um, so uh, one teaspoon of this equals 400 milligrams. And it tells you in the serving thing. And it will tell you that on most magnesium. So what I do is I take one teaspoon of this right before I go to bed, when I'm sure I'm not going to eat anything else. I'm done eating. I'm not going to go back and get more snacks or anything like that. I take one teaspoon of magnesium with um, my vitamin C. Now, I'll usually take about two or three of these. It just depends on how I feel. And then I may take a couple of me more of these throughout the day if I feel like it. Um, I would just use your own discretion. Um, in the book, in uh, Brownstein's book, he recommends, I believe, 3,000 to up to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of those things that I'm going to do a video on just strictly vitamin C because it truly is amazing. Like, I would die without my vitamin C. That's all there is to it. Like, uh, vitamin C is one of those nutrients, and this is a great formula. It's a thousand milligrams. I like the capsules the best, but everybody's different. Uh, you can get this online at Amazon. Um, this is a good one. Guys, you can get them at Walmart. You can get them just about anywhere. It really just depends on what's convenient for you. You want to make sure that you're getting supplements that don't have a lot of <sighs> preservatives and things in them that can mess up your digestion. Um, sometimes vitamin C may be made from genetically modified corn. That's something you kind of need to take into consideration if you're sensitive to those types of uh, things. So, let your body be your guide, okay guys? And um, that being said, um, another cofactor is the niacin. Niacin is one of those things you don't have to take but it's a good thing. Um, niacin helps things to get moving a, a, along in your system. Start with 100 milligrams if you want to. You can take this anytime throughout the day. I would take it at, at a time when you're probably going to be not going anywhere because it might cause you to flush. You want to get the non, uh, you want to get the flushing type, okay? You don't want to get the flush free type. And guys, you don't want to drink this with alcohol. I mean, you shouldn't drink anyway. But uh, de definitely don't take this with alcohol if you do drink alcohol. Um, and so, I believe that about covers everything. We discussed the vitamin C. I take mine at night with my magnesium. That just works for me. Um, now, your multivitamin. You should take a good multivitamin with selenium in it. Um, you need to get your recommended nutrients. It will just help better absorption of the iodine and so forth. And it will just help your body work on a better cell cellular level. It's really hard to get all the selenium and nutrients that you need. That's why uh, you need to find a good multivitamin that has at least 100 micrograms of selenium in it okay so um that's what you want to do make sure you're getting a hundred to two hundred micrograms of selenium okay in a vitamin and you don't want to take your selenium with your vitamin c you shouldn't do that because one's an oxidant and one's an antioxidant and when you uh, take those two together it may cancel out the selenium. And selenium is really important to help nourish uh, your thyroid because your thyroid is made up of something crazy like, I don't know, it's, it's like 60% iodine or something crazy. Don't quote me on that, but it's a lot. And your uh, thyroid gland really needs 
to have the proper amount of selenium to make sure that everything's functioning correctly. So, you want to take a little bit of salt. I don't really do the salt every single day. I probably need to do it right now because I've been feeling a little dehydrated. And you should do it. You should. Um, sometimes you can put a little bit of potassium in there. Cream of tartar is a cheap form of potassium that you can mix like a little teaspoon you can get this in any uh, baker section at walmart or whatever or anywhere um you can put like a teaspoon of this and a half a teaspoon to a fourth of a teaspoon of salt in water drink that anytime throughout the day um you know we'll recap you want to take around Three, up to 3,000 to 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C, whatever your body needs. Just go with how you feel. Um, if you get diarrhea, back off. You know, you've got, you've had enough. That's what I hear about vitamin C. Take as much as you need until you get uh, diarrhea, then you need to back off a little bit, and then you know that's where you need to stay at. Uh... Okay, so take this in the morning with water. Uh, and I think that's about it, guys. I think that's about it. That covers everything. It's really simple. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them uh, down in the description box. I'll be glad to answer any, any questions that you have. I hope that helps you out. Um, you know, good luck on your iodine journey, guys. Iodine has saved my life, no doubt about it, and these supplements along with it. You really should uh, implement these supplements with it. It's very, very important to have the, uh, the proper uh, cofactors to uh, cause your body to do the correct things that it needs to do. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the, the niacin is not 100% necessary. It's just they have used this in studies of people and had really good results with it. Um, some vitamins already have niacin in it. Look and see if yours has it in it. Um, the, this supplement right here has niacin in it. The, I know for sure. This is a great women's multivitamin. Um, this is a good one. My kind, if you're vegan, this is a good one for vegans. I'm not sure if this is a vegan formula, but My Kind Organics is vegan. It has the selenium in it, and it does have the niacin in it. And uh, it's got some other B vitamins as well. So, guys, uh, you'll have to make sure that you do take your vitamin C separately and your magnesium. That's critical, critical, critical. you got to be taking those at night or whenever. Whenever it's convenient for you. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or any comments. And um, I hope that this video helps you out. And um, I hope you enjoy this video. And don't please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I really need subscribers. And I'm going to be uploading more videos on iodine. I'm going to start trying to do more research uh, just on the internet of personal stories and stuff like that to make it a little more interesting because a lot of people are really interested in the iodine. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.